Hi, my name is Margaret Sass. I'm with Purdue University and I am the Assistant Director of Service Learning. This segment is going to be discussing explicitly the LibGuide. And I do have a site here that I really wanted to share with the people that are watching this video. And here on this site, this is service, it's all about service learning. As you will see, there's a home, there's best practices, there's publishing opportunities, there's service learning articles, past fellows, which happens to be um, professors that have done service learning on campus, and service learning assessment tools. Now on this website, you will see that there's also podcasts that you can listen to and articles that you can search on your own under Google Scholar. Now best practices informs you about what service learning is about and how do you use it in the classroom effectively. It is very different than volunteering, so it would be a good opportunity to kind of look over this. Publishing opportunities I thought was very important to add for the fact that once you create an article on service learning, you would like to publish it. Here are some different journals that actually look at service learning as a very important pedagogy and are willing to publish articles in this area. Under here, I have service learning articles that not only show, share the fundamentals of service learning, but other things that may be related to different disciplines on service learning. Past Fellows is just for something people to look at regarding who is practicing here at Purdue and service learning assessments which I find very important. Service learning assessment there's links right here and international service learning assessments here so you have the option of who you want to measure in what location and this is a great tool to use especially when you're not sure which one will match your needs. Now this is limited to what I have posted on here, but there are several more out there that you can research. You may have to ask the permission of the person that created the assessment tool, or you may have to pay for it. There are also free ones as well. So just search the website, search libraries, and also search Google Scholar and they will assist you. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.